flatten ears to ground, curve shoulder into the hollow of bones of earth beneath you. Spending an hour with Angie Star today, who's next, next person and next song is an interesting choice. <laughs> oh, are you talking about the uh, star trekking across the universe? Might be. On the Starship Enterprise, under Captain Kirk, <laughs> by the firm. What a kooky song that was. Was it? Was that 87? Yes, I must have been a teenager then. Mm, mm. That was just a fabulous song. You know, it's kooky. Uh, I, I love the whole Starship uh, Enterprise, Star Trek um uh what do they call that the starship i'm a dwarf creation <laughs> yeah you're a dwarf <laughs> not a trekking anyhow the i do love the whole star trek uh creation and uh, institution i did grow up watching star trek with the original William Shatner right. and uh, uh, Dr. Spock, Leonard someone anymore. anymore. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. The reason why I like this song is it's just, it's so comical, but if you scratch the surface, it really could reveal some deeper meanings to life. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just one of my favourite ultimate road tripping songs. Uh, part of the song says, you know, there's Klingons on the starboard side, starboard side, starboard side. Scrape them off, Jim. You know, that there in itself. The Klingons could be refugees, for all we know. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what the backstory is? And uh, everybody's fighting for survival these days. And I, right. I guess, look, we come in peace, shoot to kill, shoot to kill, mm, oh, shoot that's, to that's kill. Deep, yeah. I love that deep line because mm. it's just, uh, you know, it, it has that deeper, deeper, dark meaning. Mm. And again, we could relate that to the current. Uh, state that the world is has been in well do you know what i mean have you been um have you been uh, following the whole uh, american government releasing reports on ufo sightings and um i haven't seen it myself very interested but i did see that cnn thing with the two ex ex army navy ex guys and i loved the way the immediate assumption is that they're out to get us. There's danger. Oh, no. And the, yeah. at the very end, one of the guys said um, something like, if we can't even fathom their technology, how can we presume to know what their intentions are? And I thought, thank you very much for saying that because... Yeah, uh, that's a good point. And I guess uh, we are using their technology, aren't we? Well... Mobile I, phones, computers, mm, Wi-Fi, who so knows? apparently come from... Who knows? Mm. Um Beam me up, Scotty, is what I've got to say to that. And uh, only going <laughs> forward because we can find reverse. And the other stanza to that is, and things are getting worse. <laughs> but, hey, you can you change the laws of physics, Jim, can you? That's uh, part of this song that I really love. And uh, But as they say in the song, it's worse than that. He's dead, Jim. Dead, Jim. Dead, Jim. I remember watching quite a few of the Star Trekian uh, TV series back in my time, and there was a lot of death. I grew up with that. So, yeah, if there were uh, true sightings of UFOs, anyone would be paranoid to think that the UFO inhabitants were out to get us. But, no, I prefer the uh, Karen Carpenter version of calling occupants on interplanetary mm. craft. We are your friends. Mm. We come in peace. That's right. So who, who is it exactly that you would want to spend an hour with? Oh, look, uh, you know, Dr. Spock, he's always so positive. His mantra is live long and prosper. And then you'll say, oh, there's always possibility. And then you'll say something like, are you speaking scientifically or emotionally? Oh, look, it just cracks me up. I love Dr. Spock. I love his ears. I always wanted elf point, ears. pointy ears, pointy ears, elfin ears. You know, I, would, I, I, I would actually pull them as a young kid, try to stretch them. And uh, <laughs> it didn't work. I only got, you know, pretty sore ears. But I did give myself a good acupuncture massage. I learned about acupuncture doing that later in life. we 
Engine room, one factor nine. Okay, but give it any 